Hello everybody, I'm Overcord95, welcome back to Cornucopia Collectibles. We've only got the one box for you today, but it's a big box. So this is a Grail Box, Mega Grail Box, $400 box, with a guaranteed value of anywhere from $420 up to $900. So there's a good chance we might pull a really good thing. There was only 10 boxes in total, so there's a good odds there too, you know? <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna open it up, $400 box. Alright. Box number two, by the way, is the one we got. So, I'm gonna open this up. Real boxes had some pretty cool stuff. We've opened up a lot of signed things from them, actually. Alright. We got a variety of sizes. So I've got looks like at least one six inch in here. I might actually go for that. There's two regular and protector that I can feel. I got a two pack. I got a three pack, and then I got a six inch. So I don't know what to start with. So one, two, three, four, total of five. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the six inch, or how about that? That way I get some space to move some stuff too. Haunted Mansion. That's cool. Is it one of the guy Ezra in buggy for the ride? So that's the buggy from the ride. Uh, Box is a little, not bad, but anything with a six inch, I expect a little bit of like just box warping. It's not really crimped or crunched, but like you can kind of just see it's a little concave right there on this, on this edge, like where the glue is holding stuff. It's not bad at all. It's not really bent or anything. It's actually probably manufacturing original, but this was a Disney Parks exclusive. I might have already pulled one of the big ones because the Disney Parks exclusive stuff, it has the original Disney Parks sticker on there. Would you like to know what they charged you at Disney? 40 bucks for this it was a 40 dollar one from disney so i will check this out from 2018 so we're going on four years it might be vaulted now too disney stuff can kind of be hit or miss depending on what they decide there that's really cool though he looks cool i like him all right we'll check it out i'll let you know be right back all righty not a bad little start here it is a vaulted funko pop that is valued at 65 bucks. So from the original $40 price sticker, it's gone up 25 bucks. Not bad. We still got a lot of ground to cover in a way. So pretty cool. Not unhappy with that at all. All right, so three pack next then, I think. Oh, that's cool. That's another Disney thing. We got Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. <laughs> From Splash Mountain, 30th, 30th anniversary on the back here from Disneyland. Is it, a, is it another exclusive? Yes. It is. That's another Disney Park exclusive. That's cool. That's really cool. Is it all Disney? <laughs> I don't know, but it might be. This is from 2019, so not quite as old. It still has the original sticker on here as well. 50 bucks originally in park. But it's going on three years old with... I, these guys are cool. I like this a lot, actually. That's actually, that, this is my vacation this year, is going down to the Disney parks, so. We'll check it out and be right back. Alrighty, well, we definitely got a good one here. So it's a vaulted pop again. 130 bucks in value, is estimated value. And this is pretty clean. Again, with these bigger boxes, you end up getting these, like, little bit of cardboard warping. It's not in bad shape, though. I'm really happy about that. So we're, we're about halfway through the box with these two pops, you know, in value. We're a little under. Because we're guaranteed 420 at the time of boxing, so if there was some slight changes. But yeah, all right. Next up is the two pack. This is Disney as well, isn't it? Yeah. Pele and Barker Parrot from Disney. What is this? Is it a park exclusive as well? Well, oh, that's really cool. That's a triple triple park exclusive. And at the time of when they were selling this in 2018, they were asking 35 bucks. <laughs> they have all the original stickers on them. I've never actually been in the Tiki room. I've seen some imagery of like the designs and stuff now, but I've never actually been in there. That's pretty cool. I like that. Box is in pretty good shape. This one's a little bit rougher, just kind of like corner cornering and stuff like that that we've talked about before, but not bad. All right, we'll check it out and we'll be right back. All righty. Well, I'm having a little trouble finding this on Funko itself. But PPG has it on there. It is a $65 pop. With the age and considering the other one from the same age was vaulted as well, I'm going to assume vaulted, but we can't guarantee at this moment just because Funko's not finding it. But really cool. 
That's a great Disney batch right there. Honestly, that's that's really cool. All right, now we got two regulars. I'm just gonna grab as they fall over as I try to grab them and go. We've got the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the Pretty Woman face. Okay, Hot Topic exclusive from 2018 as well. So again, we're going f we're going on four years there. Pretty cool. I know some of the leather faces are worth worth some money, depending on which one it is. Uh, I'll check it out, and we'll be right back. So, another decent one. We're looking at $65 as well for this guy, and, it, and especially since there's a chase variant, that's pretty good. I'll happily take that. Goes in the Halloween horror. <laughs> Alright, last one. Did I save best for last? Worst for last? I have no idea. Here we go. Ooh, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Seriously? Smuggler's Bounty exclusive Obi-Wan Kenobi. I'm going to have to have fun finding this one because you can't scan these. There's no barcodes. You could only get these at the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty ride. Uh, but 24, 214, it's from 2017. I didn't realize they had put one out because I knew about the Qui-Gon Jinn and I knew about Geno Grievous. That's the same run. From like the 2017 Grievous, there's also the Qui-Gon Jinn. I didn't realize there was an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi as well. We'll check it out and I'll be back as quick as I can. Alrighty. Pretty cool one as well here. So we are looking at a total a value of $85. Now, if you're keeping math at home or my screen's going to come up, we are $10 shy. Now, that is because on PPG... That one just dropped ten bucks, so we were we were breaking even at the four ten the four twenty. This one lost ten dollars. I'm not upset about that. I can definitely see this one going back up. I can definitely see this one going up soon because the Obi Wan Kenobi show's coming out soon, and whenever a new show like that comes out, the fervor for those those pops again comes up. I am super super happy. Um, we have a Star Wars one planned. Come, we have an actual a Star Wars auction planned coming up, so this will be a cool one to add. And we have a Disney stuff we have planned, so these guys will come up there. This was honestly a really great box, because it's a lot of stuff that I would never have been able to get normally. So I can't walk into my normal, especially these Disney ones, or even this. I couldn't have walked in to a regular store and bought these, these four. You had to have been at the park at the time that they were there to pick them up. Chainsaw Massacre. Could I have gone into Hot Topic in 2018 and picked it up? Sure. Was I doing it at that time? Absolutely not. So really cool to get him as well. I'm really happy with this. Let me know what your favorite pull from this one is. I think actually mine might, might be the three pack. Like, I really, for some reason, I really like the three pack. It's just a cool one. Because you don't see the three packs often is also what it is. But yeah. So let me know what you think. Um, down below, there's going to be all my Instagram, all that stuff. But also there is now our Shopify uh, store is now up where we're putting up our own mystery boxes from time to time. Um, I hopefully will have the link problem figured out, but if nothing else, you should be able to copy and paste. We have one box up right now with a 10 box run. So if you want to check them out, they were overvalued when we put them up. They should still be overvalued now, but take a look. But regardless, make sure you're subscribed and hitting the notification bell. And you guys have good luck hunting out there. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.